recall when we first met Daniel LaRusso and Mr. Miyagi in the first Karate Kid film. Wax On, Wax Off became a worldwide phenomenon. The sequels, a remake, and spin-offs followed. Now, three and a half decades since that famous All Valley Tournament bout. The TV series Cobra Kai continues the Karate Kid legend with a blend of nostalgia, comedy and killer moves. I caught up with stars Ralph Macchio and William Zabka to talk about going back to the dojo. Johnny? I knew it was you. This is Johnny Lawrence. He and I go way back. Oh, this is the guy who's ass you kicked. Well, if you want to get technical... I kicked his face. <laughs> William, Ralph, great to see you, and hearty congratulations on this gift that just keeps on giving. You must be thrilled that this Karate Kid universe is having such a life. To see what's happening now with this, you know, with this show, I mean, how we launched on YouTube two years ago, and moving the show during a pandemic, when the second, third season was already shot, and then it lands at Netflix in such a big way. Um, we're all we're over the moon. I'm driving home from work yesterday, and in this strip mall, I see them. After 30 years, I thought that guy might have changed, but it's still the same William, for those who haven't seen the show yet, and the last time they saw you guys was in Karate Kids 1 and 2, uh, pick up the story for us. Well, okay, there's 35 years in between the two. Things changed a little bit. Johnny Lawrence is down on his luck. You know, th that crane kick took a lot, of, a lot of mojo away from young Johnny Lawrence, and he's been kind of gone down a wrong path, and he meets a kid in his apartment building. Johnny sticks up for him in a moment, and uses his old school karate, and this kid wants to uh, know what it is and wants him to teach him. Then uh, through a series of events, Johnny Lawrence bumps into old, uh, his old nemesis, Daniel LaRusso, and Johnny decides maybe it's time for me to try to reach back in my past and resurrect something uh, that worked. And at the time, it was, it was karate. It was being a champion. And all he knows, though, is the type of karate that's Cobra Kai. So he opens up a new Cobra Kai dojo. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Exactly right. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Cobra Kai never dies. All of our favorites are back. It's great to see Elizabeth and so many other familiar faces uh, without giving away too much. Everyone who's come back really brought their A game and added such a level and elevated uh, certain elements of the of the story. And But it's, it's used in a way that it then propels our characters forward and sort of taking those experiences and then informing the characters of today. Hey, Sensei, is there any particular way you want me to wash these windows? No, I don't give a shit. William, every episode moves the story on. It's not just another episode of Friends. I mean, the, the whole thing is continually propelled forwards, which is great. Yeah, it's a page turner. You know, that's what it is with the scripts. You, you can't stop turning it and can't kind of stop watching it. But yeah, it's, uh, and every season ends with a great cliffhanger for the next. We ended season two with a punch in the gut, and season three uh, has its own tone to its ending, which is equally rewarding. Are you loser? No, Sensei! Are you nerds? No, Sensei! Are you sure? No, Sensei! Well, why do we love you guys so much, apart from, you know, obviously good looks and uh -huh. talent? touches on all the themes of the original film and the nostalgia that brings and you know you add the 80s stuff into it you add the history of these characters and other characters but you um tell present relevant stories and they enhance the nostalgia and the nostalgia enhances the stories of today well gents congratulations again thanks for another great season of this terrific show thank, thank you. you very yeah. much thank you for the support down there cut all right, we get it? I think so. I put one of those hash browns at the end, you know, like hash brown team Cobra Kai or something. And then send it to the internet! Yeah, it is an absolute runaway hit. This Cobra Kai season three is on Netflix right now and season four in the works. It won't surprise you to hear that David Campbell is obsessed with that series. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah it's, it's a great show. A very good. Good morning, Carlos. Good morning, one and all. Yeah, Daryl Brett. The year was 1984 when we first met Daniel LaRusso and Mr. Miyagi in the first Karate Kid film. Wax On, Wax Off became a worldwide phenomenon. The sequels, a remake, and spin-offs followed. Now, three and a half decades since...
I have an ear, Dickie. Gee. Well, her voice is like mother's milk, isn't it, eh? Olivia's. Thank you. It is. Yes. <laughs> Filmmaker Christopher Nolan's brain bed. Welcome to Weekend Today. Richard Wilkins. She's Beck Madden. With all the news, entertainment, gossip, and a whole lot of laughs. <laughs> Sounds like the wheels are well and truly falling off in there. The best way to start your weekend. Now you don't want to miss this. Weekend Today. Tomorrow on 9.